Hi, my name is Daniel. Today I would like to introduce you an Android GPS device for LDB8 platform under development. This device has 10.1 inch screen, MT8783 octa core CPU, 2GB RAM, 16GB ROM, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and cellular network connectivity. It's currently running Android 6 Marshmallow. Let's explore some of the functions. First, access to Audio Original Interface. This is it. The operation is quite the same. This Here goes the radio. Let's see the oil gauge. And let's activate the external audio source. To go back to the Android, simply touch the screen. Here we are. Let's see how rear view camera read the active parking guidelines. Here it is. The active parking guidelines works pretty well. If you have parking sensors, it will show up as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any parking sensors in this vehicle, so I cannot show you how it integrated into the system. Let's go to the Android Auto app. As you can see, the user interface is not good to use while in driving. So we are revising it, but due to the limited human resources, it's causing some delays. We are sorry for that. Uh, here at the Android Auto, you can listen to music, whether it is streaming over cellular data network or download it. Let's try the streaming music. I don't know whether you will be able to um, distinguish it, but uh, sound quality is very good. No noise at all. Initially, the device suffered from faint background noise, and I added active noise filter, and the noises are now gone. I advise the manufacturer to implement the, this solution for the final product and now they are working on it. Let's see how navigation is working. As you can see the live traffic data information is available and let's navigate using the voice recognition function navigate to home home all right let me stop the music a bit head southeast Turn right onto Rang St. Remy. In 200 meters, turn right onto Rue St. Vincent. As you can see, the Navigation works pretty much well. OK. 
Okay, uh, let's make a phone call. Okay, now let's make a phone call using the cellular network capability. As you can hear, the voice call quality is very good. Now let's run an offline navigation app. Uh, here I use Sigic GPS navigation. This is offline navigation. You can download from the Play Store. When it's online, it provides live traffic information as well. See? Here, red, yellow, they are the live traffic information. Okay, let's go back to the offline navigation. I think uh, this one is also giving the speed camera warnings if available. Well, this is pre pretty much of it. Uh, the device is, I think, 95% ready to roll out. Uh, now I'm waiting OBD2 Bluetooth scanner to be functional and the user interface to be updated. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.